hey welcome uh, welcome back on the tutorial uh, today I will be explaining how we can use a data loader for the absurd operations and what basically is absurd and wh why do we need that so I'm assuming uh, you have already developed account for Salesforce or your sandbox or production org you simply have to go on at setup menu and search for the data loader so here if you, you can see in the data management section there is a data loader setup uh, you can download it and you install on your system once the data loader is installed it would look look like this when you will launch it so uh, this is a setting page for data loader here you can say that in what batch you want to insert your data and recommended is not always uh, normally 200 but if you want you can enable bulk api and the time you enable bulk api it will become 2000 so you have overall control for the batch size in this setting and then you have to set up, set up the value here saying that it data loader should be connected to the production or or to the sandbox or and then uh, one important thing here is like let's say you are uploading uh, thousands of record and after a few thousand let's say data loader stopped because of the network connection or something so this is very useful feature so it tracks your last data loader session that how many records were successfully inserted so you can use this value to continue or resume your data loader from the last location so that's quite a useful setting here now another setting we have is like if you are connected using a proxy you can uh, enter all the information about your proxy host username and password if you want to insert a blank value or the null value you should check this checkbox so these are all uh, related to the data loader settings so i assume you already know it now let's go back that why do we need the absurd operation so for this demo purpose what i'm going to do is i would be uh, uploading information on contact so let's say i have a sql server and i want sql server database and i want to insert records from sql server only if the record is not present so i need a capability where the system should know that contact already exists in salesforce or not and if contact does not exist then create a contact so before that i need to have a field on my contact object which will identify the unique key in my sql server database so here uh, i will need to create a new field here let's say a uh, new field name is sql server id you can have any field so i'm using a text box and i'm saying here field name is sql server id then uh, let's say the sql server id length is 50 on safer side now this is very important you have to check this checkbox saying external id so external id will say that this field is a primary key on the external database and this key should be used to identify inside salesforce that record exists or not if record exists salesforce has intelligence which will update the existing salesforce record and if the record does not exist then it will create it one of the another advantage of having the external id is like uh, your field will be automatically indexed so if you are writing any sql query or the reporting or anything or the condition on this field this would be very fast so i just have created a this field not sure why my chrome is slow here so let's say first how many records i have in my org so if you can see my org does not have any record so this org is a clean org uh, this is a field level security i will not touch any security here now in the meanwhile uh, this is my csv file which i am going to upload in my org and this is a sql server key if you see every record has a unique key so i want to upload the csv file in salesforce and if 
this record exists it should update otherwise it should create a record so if we can see there is no record in my org so basically it would create a record in my org okay i'm saying save it so let's start with the data loader now so in data loader basically i have to use absurd operation so one thing is to consider is that external id option would be available only if we select absurd operation it would not be available in any other operation now one thing you have observed that why the hard delete, bu hard delete button is disabled it is because bulk api is not enabled so let's say if i go here and i select use bulk api and if i save it this button would be enabled and you should have a profile level permission which says that hard delete is allowed to you then only you would be able to hard delete otherwise there is no use of using that button so basically what hard delete would do is like it will bypass a recycle bin and every record will be directly deleted from a database so you have to be very careful while using this button so let's go back uh, i'm clicking the absurd button first i have to connect to my org so you have to provide actually the password and the combination of the security token i don't have a security token for my org so i'm just entering my password and then you have to select in which object you want to insert a record or insert a record and you have to select basically your csv file and then go on the next wizard it will prompt you that how many total records are there so my csv file have 22 records now this is very important step now in this step we have to say inform salesforce that which field in the contact should be used as an external id to identify that record exists or not so they are basically id standard id field and then sql server id field i am saying let's use a sql server field to identify record exists in salesforce or not then there is another uh, reports to uh, we should say blank here now these are all available salesforce columns and you can either select auto match or you can drag one by one now i just need to see if sql server is okay so sql server id is automatically matched so this is the only important field i am concerned i will remove birth date because that is not a mandatory field here okay so everything looks good to me i will save this mapping file just uh, in case i need it so i will say contact records field mapping so if something goes wrong i don't have to uh, repeat this step i will say okay i can simply go choose an existing map and select this file however i am not doing this because i already did the setting now let's see if data loader succeeds or not it will give you real time information on the so it says a 20 is successful and two are errors and let's see what is the cause of error okay so email address is not a valid email address for these so that's good so i will say okay now refresh it so if we see there are total 20 records now and if i open any one of record here it says sql server id is 8 and all the informations are here now we already have a two record now let's try to update this record so basically i again have a 22 records in my csv file if absurd works fine it would become 20 plus 2 22 it would not become 20 plus 22 so it should not become 42 it should update existing 20 records and it should insert two record so i will go back on my data loader i will again say absurd i will select contact I will select same CSV file here 
and it again prompts me that there are 22 records that's fine which record should we use to see that field exists or not the external id field is sql server that's fine go ahead uh, i don't want to upset any parent object here reports to so keep it blank then i will choose existing map now only thing i have to do so this is the same mapping file we used uh, on previous step i will go again and i will say everything is fine just remove the email field because email field is not correct field i will say okay go ahead and try the operation again now because the email field was not valid we got two error now this time so if you see uh, upsert is uh, taking a little bit of time now this time what it is doing it is checking database if it finds record it will update record on the basis of sql server field otherwise it will insert so you can see there are 22 success now already record we have is a 20 record if i refresh it should be 22 and that's the magic of salesforce you don't have to do anything extra it updated remaining 20 records and it created a two records so that's how easy uh, using a data loader with absurd operation i hope it would help please subscribe to my channel thank you